Villa Julie sports at the time, or Villa Julie in general, was very much um, a, a commuter type campus, at least athletically. I can't speak to it now. Um, and so we were getting a lot, of, uh, a lot of Baltimore talent. And to be honest with Tony and a lot of the guys from that team were already in place before I got here. So as opposed to me recruiting them, they sort of recruited me. Tony had a nose for the goal, um, a confidence in the attacking third um, that, again, you don't normally find with players at any level. So again, I felt he was, he was when I, I got here, I felt he was a unique attacking talent. And, um, and it played out that way in the two years that I was able to coach him. Tony was a captain, I understand, uh, even the year before I got there, he was a, a captain both years for us. He was able to balance that fine line that all captains walk between being one of the guys and at the same time, you know, leading the team and keeping the team focused in the moments that, uh, that we needed that. Those are some of the things that, that, that he brought to us in the way of, you know, off the field or, or in terms of, uh, like I said, leadership and setting the tone for how we should train and uh, being on the road, okay, guys are goofing off, hey, let's get focused, let's settle in and get ready to, to play the match. When I heard that Tony was up for this award, I was very pleased to hear that, and I do think he is deserving. From afar, I've watched uh, some of the transformation that Villa Julia or Stevenson has gone through, and I think that in any, any time a school experiences growth, there are some pioneering people, for lack of a better term, that, that sort of help that 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 uh, that transition happened, particularly in the in the beginning stages when a, a program is trying to find its footing. And I think Tony was an important player, you know, in the men's soccer program uh, in that regard. And it's every Division three coach's dream to get a player like Tony to uh, that really is a D1 talent or a possible pr professional player, and to get him in your program to sort of anchor it and be a kid that you can build it around. And also that he's a nice kid and a, and a, a kid that. Um, you know, goes to class, embodies the student athlete ethic. You know, and Tony, Tony did do that in my time of knowing him. And again, I was glad to be able to be a part of his career and be his coach. You know, I, I'm, I do think he's deserving of this award.